Hi there and welcome back to Accessible Photography with Alistair MacDonald. Today we're visiting St Monans in Fife, Scotland. It's a pretty fishing village and well worth a visit sometime. The main reason for visiting for us is to photograph this squiggly pier. It's hidden from general view so many visitors don't even know it is there. This image is only accessible to those able to climb a short ladder and happy to stand on the top of a pier wall. It was windy that day and I lost the film intro which is why I'm narrating today. Putting in a putting in a grad ND, take out the sky. Now sixteen stop. Looks like we're going for 5 minutes 27 seconds. I'll start the timer in a second. Put that to bulb, and then you can use that. 5 minutes 27 seconds on the timer. Starting now. Locked on. There you go. So here's my first image. Unfortunately, due to the wind, there was a vibration in the tripod and the result was effectively out of focus. Here I've reduced the clarity to give an overall softer view, which I quite like, but I would still like to take this image again on a calmer day. Here is the second attempt having borrowed Leslie's 10 stop ND. I adjusted my settings to give me a slower speed from 5 seconds initially shown and managed a 10 second exposure. So I've moved along the coast a little bit to Ely or Ely in Fife and there's a lighthouse along here which I'm going to photograph in a moment and I've been photographing a tower behind me with the Bass Rock beyond. I've used the big lens to get a bit of uh, compression there so that looks interesting. I'll be looking to see how that came out. So for this shot, uh, I'm photographing an old tower, uh, sun's to my side, so I've got the polarizer on, that's giving the nice saturated colours, taking the glare off the, the water out there as well, and put a grad grey on here just to darken the sky a little bit to make it a bit, uh, a bit more balanced. Two second uh, timer so I don't disturb the camera and yeah good shot and in a moment i'm going to go and have a look at the lighthouse in the background and do the same sort of thing with a bit of compression on the pentland hills behind edinburgh let's see how that works out <laughs> 